In the annals of history, there are enigmatic mysteries that challenge our understanding of time itself. One such mystery is the phantom time hypothesis. According to this theory, a span of time, roughly 297 years, from 614 AD to 911 AD and perhaps even beyond, never actually occurred. Instead, it's alleged that this period was artificially inserted into our historical timeline by powerful entities for their own agendas. The Phantom Time Hypothesis was first proposed by German historian Herbert Illig in the 1990s. Illig argued that the Roman Emperor Otto III, along with Pope Sylvester II and Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII, conspired to fabricate this era in order to position themselves at the beginning of the new millennium, AD 1000. Proponents of the phantom time hypothesis point to several things that lead them to believe, such as according to them, there's a lack of archaeological evidence from AD 614 to 911, with modern dating methods like radiometry often deemed unreliable. They also believe medieval historians relying heavily on written sources potentially skewers our understanding of this period. Additionally, Romanesque architecture in 10th century Western Europe suggests a shorter time span since the Roman era, and discrepancies in the introduction of the Gregorian calendar led Illig to conclude that roughly three centuries might not have existed. Critics, however, argue that the phantom time theory is deeply flawed. They point out that the theory relies on cherry-picked evidence and ignores a vast array of historical records archaeological findings, and scientific dating methods that corroborate the existence of the missing years, that it lacks credible evidence and fails to withstand scrutiny when subjected to extensive historical analysis. Ancient astronomical observations, including solar eclipses before 600 AD, contradict Illig's theory with precise events such as Pliny the Elder's report in 59 AD having confirmed eclipses. Archaeological findings and dating methods like dendrochronology also dispute the existence of phantom time. Moreover, the Gregorian calendar reform aimed to align Easter with the vernal equinox as it was in 325 AD, indicating no manipulation of historical time periods. Moreover, Many significant events and cultural developments occurred during the disputed period, including the rise of Charlemagne, the Viking Age, the Islamic Golden Age, the rise of the Tang Dynasty in China, and the spread of Christianity throughout Europe. So, where does the truth lie? Could the phantom time hypothesis be a genuine revelation, or is it simply an intriguing but false theory? What do you think? Let us know your thoughts and theories in the comments below. For now, the mystery of the phantom time hypothesis remains unresolved, leaving us to ponder the enigmatic secrets hidden within the pages of history. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, give us a like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and never stop seeking the truth.